Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Okay, so where we left off, we defeated Grubba, and we got the, um, the third Crystal Star, and now we have to go to this place called, uh, damn, I forgot what it was called, the, the Twilight Area, basically, um, and get the next Crystal Star. So yeah, as you know, I actually already uploaded all of the uh, of the fourth gameplay, all the parts to um, to YouTube because I wanna I wanna try to get this one what I'm playing right now before Halloween because you know uh, I feel like this level is very like Halloweenish. Sorry, I was just like just going in a little bit of a circle just so that I could finish off what I'm talking and I realize where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go. To this- Oh wait! I forgot! I was going the right way. I'm supposed to go the other way. Yeah, you have to- I know what to do and stuff, but I have to first go into that pipe, then come back to Frankly, and then go to that, you know, one person that is from that, like, you know, area. So I know where to go, and that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, in this gameplay, I'm gonna talk about, like, all the good all the- you know why? I'm gonna just basically talk about why I love Halloween and like what one of my favorite stuff about Halloween. I'm gonna talk about the good and the bad that 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 I've been through through Halloween. Like you know the the good moments and the bad moments that happened to me when I was little. If you know what I'm saying. And none of the bad moments has to do with like me being scared or like you know I went to some Halloween party and get terrified. And there's none of that. It's just you know you'll find out basically. To Twilight Time. Okay, it's called Twilight Time, of course. So you basically just do this, and now look at this. The pipe rejected you. Yeah, so, yeah, I think you do that, then you basically go back to Frankly, and then you tell him that, and then he'll be like, go to this guy, and you know, then you just go to that guy, basically. I don't know, you have to kind of do it in a certain way, if you know what I'm saying. Because sometimes, you know, this game usually lets you go through unless you talk to certain people or do certain stuff. At one time, you know, when I was going to the final level, I went to this one world, because I know you have to go there, but it turns out you have to first d talk to Frankly, and then you go to that world, if you know what I'm saying. So that's why. So now that I've been into that pipe and I got out of it, I was rejected, now I have to go back and talk to him. Alright. Yo, Professor, we found your pipe, and that thing's all stopped. That thing's all stopped up. Stopped up. Okay. We tried and tried, but we can't break through it. Got any drain cleaner? <laughs> what? You can't get through the pipe? You say? How odd. Hmm. I'm afraid I have the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly! I have seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the, pat, in the past. Look for Darkly. Yeah, I don't know why, actually, I think I kind of knew, uh, what, what he was talking about, because, like, he said, the, the Twilight Town all gloomy and stuff, and I was like, it probably has to be this guy, because remember, I had kind of been into this area before I went you know, to the pipe I'm supposed to go, and then I was like, oh, it has to be one of these people, right? Because they look so, you know, dark and mysterious, that kind of thing. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh, you want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier, you just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. That's kind of odd. It's like to get to their world, or their uh, area. It's not really a world because it's in the same, you know, planet, but their area, I would say. You have to have, like, some kind of piece of identity to go to that place, if you know what I'm saying. No, really, okay, hang on, I'll write it for you. What's your name? It's me, Mario. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write, I'll write it here on the, on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? There, per per perfecta mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Spike, baby. <laughs> so what? Does he like write the name on all the partners? Hey, watch where you're drawn, buddy. 
I don't know what, what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. That's not a problem for me going to Twilight Town. Like, you know, if you want to know, if you want to know me, like, I mean, if you want to actually get there, you have an item with your name on it, just get your ID with you. Driver's license, ID card. I think even a voter, actually, even a voter ID card also. A voter card. It's not really for ID, basically. In my country, a voter ID card does not count as, like, an identification. It can be used as proof of residency, but... Uh, it's not used for, like, ide uh, for identity, so it's, like, it's pretty useless if you want to do- go through a bank account or, you know, anything that requires, like, ID, but, uh, that's only just for voting, basically. Alright, so we did the thing, and now we go to, to the next world, this very Halloween-ish theme kind of world. I know I'm saying world this time, but, I mean, I thought, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be specific for everything, just a few things. I don't know, I'm kind of like that. Okay. Chapter 4. Four pigs... Four pig... Oh, no, no, it's four pigs the bell tolls. Yeah, it's like, to whom the bell tolls and stuff. I don't know, is that is that written, like, the, the, the reference to who the bell tolls? Is that by Charles Dickens? I don't know, I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments. Because I know that's been used as a reference before, like, see the Mild Pony episode, To Whom the Sweetie Bell Tolls? I know it's, it's supposed to be from To Whom the Bell Tolls, I think that's what it is, I don't know. Somewhere along the lines. Oh, this place gives me the creeps, is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone c come from outside, you've come from far away. <laughs> Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear, and scary to, to tell, too. Oh, shit. Oh, no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? so fucking creepy. It's like every time a bell rings, you just get turned into a pig. Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Oh my god, look at this guy. He kind of looks like a cripple a little bit. Who are you, Gramps? It's kind of rude to call someone Gramps, you know? Okay, anyway, I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Door. Doer. I, I don't know. I'm gonna call him Door. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the f telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. Twilight Town. Look how desolated and, like, very creepy this place. It's not really desolated, I'm sorry. I meant, like, it's very creepy and ominous. Like I said, very Halloween theme. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. We well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is that is the right word, right? Yes, of course, it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in, in its heart is an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings. One of the Twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? <laughs> I'm so worried. I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. You know, night and day kind of say... It's like a so con consistent, like, kind of... Um, status in daylight time and stuff. It's kind of like living in Iceland. I mean, of course, I've never been to Iceland, but I am aware that obviously in the winter time, you guys have very, very long night hours and very short daylight hours. And then in the summer, you have long night hours. I mean, long daylight hours and short night hours, kind of like in, in this game, except that this is like twilight constantly rather than it's like, you know, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of. Just like to point that out there. Uh, well, it was when John Pigpen, which would be bad. I don't know if I already read that. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave, leave before you too get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. 
Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Brrrr, unthinkable. Yep, and that's it for him. So, this kind of, when I've heard about, like, some creature ringing a bell and stuff, it kind of reminded me of Quasimodo a bit. Of course, that was, and I mean, of course, when I was little, I didn't really watch The Hunchback of Notre Dame, sadly. sadly. Actually, I kind of almost watched the sequel when I was in France, which would have been even worse, like a French dub thing, but that VCR tape was so bad that we couldn't even watch it, so I'm glad it didn't work, because, you know, Hunchback of Notre Dame 2, that was shit. Did I say Hunchback? I meant, I meant the sequel, of course. Not not the first The first one's fantastic. You know, go watch The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's a really, really good movie. But, yeah, avoid the sequel at all costs. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh, man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing? Isn't that kind of clinched? A uh, kind of cliche, I mean? I said clinched, what the fuck? You gotta be kidding me, fine, let's go ask. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Whoa, the bell rang, Mario. Doesn't that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get paid. So yeah, that creature ringing the bell kind of reminds me of Quasimodo a bit. He's like an evil version of Quasimodo. Look. Oh god! He turned into a pig! How Halloween is this? <laughs> Whoa, this ain't good. Don't you think that this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We needed that dude's okay to pass through the gate. So now we have to go. So I will talk about Halloween and stuff, just not right now, because now there's like some dialogue I have to get through, and, and of course when I'm start when I'm walking through the woods, then I'll start talking about you know, Halloween and stuff, and why I love the holi the, that holiday. What? The mayor's a pig? Oh no, what do we do? Go govern ourselves? <laughs> well, I mean, technically you can. You have a very significant small population, you know. I mean, if you just... Usually it's... I mean, it really depends. Like, obviously the smaller the population, the easier it is to govern. You know, as long as you don't go... Like, go through anarchy, that is. But, I mean, like, usually a small population can suffice, uh, I think. But usually, obviously, the larger the population, that's when it's very hard to govern. And usually, large countries, like, say, China, for example, is an authoritarian country. Anyway, enough about government talk. I'm here to talk about Halloween, but just I just like to say that, you know? Well, there's just no way I, can't let, I can let you through now. It's martial law time. Well, who made you the authority? Just forget, forget about it. Okay, and then now I have to talk to her in that shop. And then get out. Anyway, she just rambles, so I'm probably, I might skip this. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. I'm not gonna do this stuff thing. Huh, why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig? Oh, I don't know if Yoshi said that, or also I noticed that Yoshi's through the pig. Look at that. Yoshi's merged with the pig. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not funny. <laughs> My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I had and I called him a chauvinous pig. Oh, wow. Talk about... I don't know that the irony. Okay, now she's rambling. I'm not going to read this. <laughs> Look at Mario. He just had enough of this shit. Yeah. So, um, are you even listening? So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything in, this, in the storeroom that might help you, you know? The storeroom's locked. What's that? It's locked. My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods. Now look at this. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Whoa, the gate guy's gone. 
Oops, nope, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig. Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get in our way. Alright, and now the adventure begins. Now, I mean, of course, there's gonna be another little bit of dialogue, but uh, that gives me enough time to at least... You got the black key, a strange black key, but what could it be used for? I know it's used for, but... Anyway. So, uh, I guess I could say that I'm actually, like, obviously, you know, you know, I'm very excited for Halloween and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. These things are actually pretty strong, so... Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Is that the husband? Hoink. I think that probably might be the husband. Because, I mean, the other pig in, in her shop is not really... You'll find out later. It's not really the husband. Yeah. That's why I, that's why I was I was hesitant to keep on going, because I knew it wasn't that long of a way to to go. So, I'll repeat what I, what I was trying to say before. I mean, I was going to say... Oh, fuck. Oh, and I... Because he's the strongest. I know I could have use Yoshi to speed things up, but I feel like if I had Mario, I'd have more ability. Fuck. Alright. Let's just speed things up here. Now I'm gonna go talk to that chest thing, and then I'll have, like, total, like, you know, uh, concentration, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, sweet! Okay, I'm definitely gonna take this. I have two honey syrups. Might as well get rid of this. I have this. Another life show. 50, this one gives me 10. Ugh. These are worth a fortune, by the way, so I'm not going to sell this. But, I mean, it's, it's, oh, that one's also worth 10. I mean, like, I don't have to keep it until I die. I, I could just use it right away. So, okay. So, I, I guess I'll just get rid of this. A little bit of that. Hmm. I have two now. I'm definitely going to keep this. Because I might also need it, like, you know, because I might take damage and stuff. I want to save some more. I know I'm very greedy like that. I have so much money. Uh, fuck. Do I keep the boost sheet or if I could just get rid of it? Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna just. Oh. Or... No, I need. I need that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of this. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm so oh god. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. I knew this was actually going to happen. Fuck. Alright. Damn, that was kind of ridiculous. Anyway. You got the def defense plus. Boost my defense by one. Oh, that could come in handy. But let me see how much does it require. F oh, yeah. I don't know if I might do use it, but who knows. Anyway. Sorry about all that, but I got everything I need. Hold up. Here, yeah, I'm going to just skip this. Yeah, I just talked about about stuff. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. This is gonna make me... Here you go. Wee fools. Hell, look at this. Excuse me. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? <laughs> I wish. Now I'm going to hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power, you'll know the pain of having your body rolled up. Be cursed! Wow, how, how original. Seriously. Wee hee hee, now you're a curse loser, you're gonna save your suffering, and then he just tells you how to use it. Alright, now that that's over... Get to continue onward. Okay, so yeah, now that that's apps, that's everything. I, I've like you know did all the minor dialogue stuff. Now I can talk about what I want to talk about. Actually, let me first save.